this is Vargas, and I'm back with, uh, as it's become the norm in my channel, but that's okay, because I love talking about this kind of stuff, a uh, quick uh, DVD uh, movie update. I um, <coughs> was doing some Christmas shopping uh, with the family, and we went to Walmart, and we came across a bunch of cool movies, uh, about four DVDs and a Blu-ray. And they're all sealed, still new, but I want to share with you now that I have a chance to do so. So I'm going to start with the Blu-ray. Um, this is from everything from Walmart, like I said, from the bins that they have. Uh, they have a five dollar uh, Blu-ray bin, and they have a four dollar DVD bin. So I got this at the five dollar Blu-ray bin, and it's the Blu-ray DVD combo pack of Cult of Chucky. Yeah, but this one has, uh, I don't know if the camera will be able to pick it up, but it uh, has a cool uh, lenticular slipcase. And uh, there's the cover there. So it has the DVD and the Blu-ray. And it has a whole bunch of special features. Deleted scenes inside the insanity of Cult of Chucky. Good Guy Gone Bad, the incarnations of Chucky. So that one's actually one that, that sounds interesting because they'll show the different versions of Chucky. Uh, the Dollhouse and feature commentary with director, writer, executive producer Don Mancini and head puppeteer, associate producer Tony Gardner. So this is the last Chucky movie that came out before the reboot, uh, where Mark Hamill was the voice of Chucky. Um, I've not seen that one and didn't, honestly didn't have any interest of seeing that one, except for the fact that it's Mark Hamill and, and I freaking love Mark Hamill. But this is uh, this is still part of the Chucky timeline from Child's Play. Uh, does it still have? Yeah, Brad Dorf. Brad Dorf still does the the voice of Chucky. I actually don't own uh, other than this now. I don't ha own any of the Chucky movies. I don't own Child's Play, uh, Child's Play Two, Child's Play Three. Don't own Bride of Chucky. Don't own Seed of Chucky. Don't own the one that came before that, which was Curse of Chucky. Uh, but Curse of Chucky and this one were pretty good. I've seen both of them, and uh, like Child's Play One is great. Yeah, that's a great movie. Child's Play Two, a good follow-up. Child's Play Three was not as good as Part One and Two, but still respectable. Then Bride of Chucky got <laughs> got kind of weird. And then see that Chucky just got threw everything out the window and, and was just like a parody of itself. But then uh, Curse of Chucky and Call of Chucky try to go back to the to the scary roots of the series, and I think it they it did really well. Which what it really upset me when I heard they were remaking it because this one leaves on a cliffhanger, a really good cliffhanger that will now probably never be resolved. So that kind of sucks. But I, I like this one, and it's again five dollars for the Blu-ray DVD combo, and this was the only copy that they had with the slip cover. They still had a couple more Blu-rays that I would have got liked to have gotten, but I got some DVDs instead, and uh, finally got around to buying Howard the Duck. This is the last uh, pre-Marvel Cinematic Universe movie that I needed. Um, I have. Um, I have Doctor Strange, I have Captain America with Red Brown, I have uh, The Punisher with Dolph Lundgren. So I, I have a whole bunch of these uh, Marvel movies that came out before the jumpstart of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, even before the X-Men movies and Spider-Man movies. They, they Marvel was releasing these really... Um, it, with the exception, this one kind of low budget, but this one was high budget. And uh, a lot, it's hit or miss with fans. A lot of people don't like it. A lot of people like it. Uh, I'm in the camp that I think it's an okay movie, not faithful to the Howard the Duck card, uh, comic book, of course. But this um, was this directed? No, but it, uh, George Lucas produced this. wasn't directed or, or written by him. But I thought it was okay when I saw it as a kid. It's not the best movie, and like I said, like I said it's not a good uh, Howard the Duck adaptation from the comic books. But it's okay, and uh, every time we went to Walmart, I would get it, and then I, we would buy other stuff, and I had to put it back. And then next time we went, I would get it, and then we had to buy other stuff, and I would put it back. 
And this time I was like, screw it, I'm gonna get it because then it's gonna be really hard to find. And I finally got Howard the Duck, so yay. Also I picked this one up, it's a reboot and remake, whatever you wanna call it. Um, and it's something that I wasn't interested in, I didn't even see it in the theater. But um, I saw this uh, at, the, at, at that uh, $4 bin. I was like, well, why not? It comes with a nice metallic slipcase, and this is the Power Rangers uh, reboot, remake, if you want to call it, with, uh, what's her name? Ah, I forget her name. Uh, what, what's her name? <laughs> uh, Elizabeth Banks as, as um, Rita Repulsa. And I wasn't, I'm, not, I'm still not a fan of the look. Uh, they went too weird with it. Uh, I guess they were trying to make him look like metallic, like uh, techno organic Power Ranger suits. But I wasn't interested in the trailer and I didn't go see it. But it's at the bin, and it, it again, also like the Chucky one, it was the only one that had the slip cover. So I was like, well, um, I haven't seen it. So maybe, maybe, maybe it's actually good. Like I said, I'm going entirely based on trailers. Did not care for the trailers. The trailers did not sell me on this. But I was like, well, it's four bucks. I'll give it a chance. And if it's good, then I missed out in the theater. If it's bad, well, whatever. <laughs> Another one I wanted to get. Similar to Howard the Duck, I would see it, want to pick it up, but then bought her stuff and uh, left it behind every time. And uh, this is no, Don't Breathe. Uh, this is a, a movie that came out. Now, I don't know. I don't remember if it came out the same year. But there were two movies that came out that I wanted to see. And uh, I didn't get to see. Uh, one was It Follows. Which is a movie I still need to get. And the other one is Don't Breathe. And this is about a, a trio of, of young people that uh, are robbing houses to escape their town. And they go into the house of this old blind guy, and they think, oh, it's an old blind guy, and it, it'll be easy. But the old blind guy is like this ex-military guy, probably, because he beats the shit out of them. And, uh, you know, they have to be really quiet, because the guy has developed like this, um, like, daredevil radar sense, where his earring is freaky good, and he's able to, like, hear them. If they tap something, he hears it, and they're after him. And then it has a really disturbing twist at the end where you know you uh, you, 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 you you kind of uh, think that the old guy the, the young people are getting what they deserve because they're crooks and they're criminals and they're taking advantage of the old guy and the old guy just happens to be a badass but then there's a plot twist and you're like oh crap <laughs> uh, you, you don't end up cheering for the old guy anymore but it, it was really good and uh, I don't base any uh, of my movie choices or movie watches on uh, reviews or anything, but got a really good score from Rotten Tomatoes. And I, I again, I don't remember. I remember hearing about both of these movies at the same time. It follows and Don't Breathe. Don't remember if they came out at the same time, but I do still want to get uh, It Follows because I thought that one was really, really good. And the last one I picked up just because of the cast, honestly. I and because it, it. It, it doesn't say it's an, it's a remake of Very Bad Things, but it's very similar to Very Bad Things in the plot. And this is Rough Night with uh, Scarlett Johansson and uh, the chick from Saturday Night Live that was in the Girl Busters movie. Uh, I like her. She's, I think she's really funny. But it's basically like Very Bad Things. Um, it's um, with John Favreau and... Uh, the guy from uh, Alone in the Dark, whose name I just blanked out on. Anyway, it's about, uh, the original uh, Very Bad Things is a bachelor party that goes wrong when they kill a stripper, and then they have to do all these things to not get caught. Uh, Rough Night, uh, based on the trailer, also looks like it's that. Uh, they have this male stripper that, they, they're doing a bachelor party, and then uh, something happens to the stripper, and then they have to go do all this stuff. It's... It's a unofficial, I, they never said it was a remake of Very Bad Things, but it really, really reminded me of Very Bad Things, uh, but with uh, this cast. So, didn't see it in the theater, uh, the trailer gave me that impression, but uh, decided to give this a chance for four bucks. And like I said, it has Star Scarlett Johansson and uh, Kate McKinnon, that's her name. 
uh, who, who was really the best part of uh, Girl Busters. So that might be good. But yeah, that was the very short five movies that I picked up at Walmart. Um, looking forward to seeing the ones I haven't seen, like Rogue Knight and Power Rangers. And really glad to add Call the Chucky, Howard the Duck, and Don't Breathe. Because those are ones I, I've been wanting to get for for a while. So thanks so much for watching, guys. My voice is going out because we went to SeaWorld, if you saw the last up up upload I did. And uh, it was getting kind of cold, and uh, my throat's kind of going out. But uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. And until I see you all again, this is Vargas uh, signing out, and I'll see you later. Bye.